I first started writing when I felt I was at a stage in my life where I finally had something to say. It was the, the culmination of years experience uh, as a police officer and in particular about 15 years working as a child protection de detective and there's a lot of experiences that had a profound effect on me and, and that was what essentially got me writing. Some people perhaps write a diary and, and they express their thoughts through writing a diary. For me I've, I've found by writing stories or, or be it fictional stories based on my own personal experiences and inspired by the people I'd met, uh, I found by writing those stories it was a way for me to, to sort of purge um, the stuff that I was carrying around inside me, the, the anxiety and the stress and, and the darkness that I was carrying around after being exposed to a lot of sad cases over those years and, and a number of traumatic investigations. When I look back, I was probably in a fairly dark place. I didn't realise it at the time. At the end, I, I started to really virtually bleed those words onto the page. So for me, it was very real and at times quite raw. When I first started writing, I didn't really have a long-term plan and I, to be honest, I wasn't really sure why I was writing. I was significantly affected by a particular homicide investigation and, and that's what inspired me to start writing. I wrote this scene which was loosely based on a, on a real event I'd experienced and, and from that I developed a whole fictional storyline and a number of characters that were built around this scene that ended up being about chapter five in, in the book that's now called The, the Angels Wept. Once I'd completed that story, I felt that the character of, of Jared O'Connor, I'd come to, come to know him very well, but I felt that there was room to delve more into his character and I felt that he had more stories to tell. So from that, the sequel was born and I wrote the second book in, in fairly quick turnaround after the first book was written. It was actually a number of years later that I wrote book three. And book three tidied up some loose ends from book one and looped back to book one. So when you read the three books in sequence, you'll, you'll see that there's a, a common thread that goes through all three books. My writing is brutally honest. When I write, I delve into the best and worst in human nature. I'm writing from my own personal experiences as a police officer, so readers will see a perspective told through the eyes of an authentic and relatable detective.